Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 12th video of VMware VCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to create virtual machine clone and template. So let's have some idea about my game environment. As previously, I have basically 5 machines. First one is my Ubuntu KDC01 which is my Active Directory server on which I have installed Active Directory and DNS role. Here you can see my win 2 k 12 this is Roman, I have installed Active Directory and DNS config, DNS. And my second machine is my vCenter server, on which I have installed vCenter application. You can see here my vCenter server is connected with my two ESX servers, which is ESX01 and ESX02. So I am connected with both the server by using the vSphere client. And the last one is my standard uh, starwind uh, machine you can say which is providing learn to my ASX host this is my physical machine on which I am recording this video you can see here starwind application is installed and I have provided the three learns to my ASX host and here you can see all the three learn is connected with the with the ISKC session which is multipathing we have two connections for each host to each learn so we have total six connection for three disk from the each ESX host and so let's go and create a first clone so as previously we, our video I have installed Win2K8 R2 machine which which we have installed Windows Server uh, 2008 R2's operating system and before moving any further thing I want to clone this machine because this machine is you can say if I open the console and power on the machine this machine is like uh, done the installation and I have done the basic configuration like renaming the machine and few other things like installing the VM tools on this machine so I, I have done these things so just check out once more time So you can see I have installed the oh, VM tool on this machine so my mouse is working perfectly fine. And if you go here you can see So I have renamed this machine and this machine is not activated, Windows is not activated. So seems everything good. I have done the basic configuration. So I am good to go to clone this machine before doing any further changes on this machine. So so if required, if something goes wrong, then we can back to this, uh, this machine. So I am going to shut down this machine. So you can see machine is now shut down so I'm going to right click on this and just go and click on clone so provide the clone name I'm going to provide it to win2k8 uh, to clone and definitely I'm going to put this machine in my India data center click next and we need to select the ESX host you can see validation is succeed on both the ESX host so going to deploy this clone on 2 ESX2 and here you can see it's asking for data store so I'm going to put this on my LUN0 you can see validation succeed click next 
and here is the option power on this virtual machine after case and those don't customize so I'm going to leave the default settings and here you can see the detail by which is going to create a clone machine so just click on edit virtual machine and continue so you can see the all the details same hardware profile is also copied in a clone machine like I have using I'm using the 1 GB RAM 4 code and other details same has been copied to here also so click OK and now you can see here clone virtual machine is running it's almost 30 40 percent is completed and copying virtual machine file so it's basically copying the uh, VMDK file or a hard disk file which is in my case which is 40 around 40 GB so it's copying the virtual virtual hard drive for the Win2K uh, Win2K8 R2 clone machine so we have a same copy of file same copy of virtual machine for the both so just give it some time then we go and do further settings so this is the basic click thing how to call how to clone a machine once the machine is cloned we we go ahead and create a template and deploy machine by using the template if you go in here you can see my learn zero is like for now it's have around 59 GB free data oh, free space once the copy is done done we can see the free space is like around 20 GB is less so just wait to complete this copying virtual machine files so we you can see the clone virtual machine is completed successfully we have a here clone as well as and if you go here in data store you can see little warning because we have only 20, around 20 GB space left which is like 20 percent so now we we have a clone machine virtual machine and now we can go ahead and uh, do some stuff on Win2K8 R2 and then we uh, we create a template by using this machine so I'm going to power on this machine once again and I'm going to do little bit changes as per my re uh, requirement as by my template requirement so power on machine so there was many reason to create a template like we can deploy thousands of machine hundreds of machine by using the same template as per our requirement like we have some settings we have done some software installation like you can say SQL Server Visual Studio MS Office these things and you have done the few settings as per as per uh, your requirement and then you have created the template and you can deploy the same virtual machines by many times by using the just by using the few clicks so good to go so click and tour to Dell So in this case just assume I have got the request from my server owner to create a template by uh, and the, the server owner required few features need to be added here in my server template so just say like text the server owner requires desktop experience and you can say telnet client and you can say one more thing is windows server backup features so good to go i have selected the all three option create click next and now we can see you can see i have uh, 
added the four features here as by my as per requirement of my template and I'm going to click on install so it will install the all for all four features in my uh, template machine <coughs> as per requirement of server owner and if the owner requires any further things like settings or application you can just go and and uh, install the application like you can mount the ISO file you can access the network share for like installation file and anything and just go and install the application and then create a template so in my case I'm going uh, I got the request for these four watch uh, four features only so I'm going with the these four features so after the installation of few things like you can say desktop experience we require reboot for machine so definitely after the installation it will ask to reboot the machine so we go ahead here you can see restart pending so I'm going to restart my server after that we are good to go to create a temp template so you can see configuring windows feature 2% completed do not turn off your computer so machine is rebooting now So finally we are at the control to Dell screen, hit control to Dell and go ahead and log in on virtual machine. And just verify all the features which we have added, all four features have been installed successfully. So it's resuming the result here, resuming configurations. So you can see all the four, four uh, features has been installed successfully. So click close. And also if you want to verify, you can click on feature and you can say four feature has installed. So we are good to go to create a template now. So in Windows, we have a sysprep to uh, prepare the machine before the creating a template. So basically Cisprep registered the all machine specific data. So there was no data related to machine specifications, machine individual machine dependency. So I'm going to run the Cisprep before creating the template. So just click on Cisprep and select the journalize option. And after this Cisprep, I want to shut down this machine by automatically. So we have done the settings. Click OK. So now it it will run the sysprep app and it, it, it will reshut the all machine specific data and shut down the machine so just wait for a few more few minutes to get this done so sysprep is completed and also you can see the machine is shut down now So we have done and now we have two options if I go right click on machine and template we have two two options clone to template or convert this machine to template so the first thing is convert to template means if I click on this you can see machine is like gone from here because 
the machine is converted in template and if you want to see just click on inventory and here you can see VMs and template if I click here now you can see the template is here but its little icon is, has been changed and by this you can identify this machine is converted in template so if you right click on here you can see the we have option of clone and convert to virtual machine like we have some requirement as server, server owner came back to us and he is telling us to install few other features or role on this server or also you can say like we have some windows update or anything which needs to be installed then we can convert this machine from template to to like you can say virtual machine and install the so software install the windows update everything then convert this machine back as a template so i'm going to create this machine convert this machine from template to virtual machine once just to show you so click on finish and you can see mark as a virtual machine is running and here you can see machine is converted to uh, uh, template is converted to virtual machines so I'm going to do it back convert machine to template and now machine is converted to template and if I right click other option like we deploy virtual machine from this template add permission delete from disk rename and these things so I am going to rename this like I am going to put here template that's all and now I am going to rename this machine or leave it or you can rename it like win2k8r2 because we don't have any machine with the name so so in this video we have created one clone of win2k8r2 then we have created a template of that clone machine and then we have renamed this so this is all about creating the template and deploying uh, cl creating the clone from virtual machine in next video I'm going to deploy the machine by using this template so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question or query related to this please mail me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye